This hammock chair is comfy, cozy, fun. My first impressions, the solid steel is powder coated. Steel hooks feel nice and secure. Look at the enforcement on this. This rope is a cotton rope, but it is really strong and sturdy. And it does connect through loops and this kind of a canvasy cotton material. Weaved really tight and it's nice and thick. The stitching looks great on it. Love that it's a solid surface with some great details like that pocket. And again, if you look up close, I don't see any issues with construction. It's ripping through these really wide loops. The rope really seem to be solid in there and wrapping over and over and out. Uh, looks like it's going to hold together well. That steel frame, shockingly easy to put together. Each of the pieces slide to each other and lock. No tools necessary. You just tighten and good to go. It even has some rubberized padding on the end of them for protection if you are going to use it in an outdoor environment. But again, quite sturdy. I know it holds up to 330 pounds and I feel like there's adequate height and adequate width for someone that may be of a larger stature. It does go up to about five feet and height there where the hooks connect and then it hangs down. Uh, there is some width though really to expand as much as you need it. Nice padding for the legs at the bottom and it really does open up pretty substantially. I'm a smaller frame person and I had plenty of room left over. It does have a little bit more height in the back than in the front. But one note, it does take up substantial floor room. So about 42 inches deep and pretty much over four feet wide, especially because this kind of sticks out a little bit above the base. So you do want to consider where you're going to put this and make sure you have ample floor room. For assembly, everything came bubble wrap with these protectors on the end. Here's a look at how the canvas arrived and the pictorial directions. You follow them step by step. Six easy steps for one person. Crazy easy. Do love that each of the parts are lettered. So you just follow along the guides clicking them together. The metal easily slid between each of the other pieces and locked into those preset holes. Tighten a couple of screws along the way. Keep assembling super fast. And once you finish assembling the frame, you simply hang the hammock on the two hooks. You could easily take the hammock inside if you wanted to protect it from the elements. Staying in place to prolong the life of it. Here's the side view and the back view. All looks pretty standard from any angle. I would have no issues putting this in any patio or outdoor surface. Thanks to the seller for sending this over. Now my only question is do I give it to my daughter or do I keep it?